Colorado has experienced more than our share of acts of mass violence and tragedy. But through this, we have had an opportunity to learn many lessons that hopefully we'll share with other communities and utilize in our own planning. I want to highlight just a couple of those lessons. One is that these events are all unique. They share many similar aspects, but they're unique in their own context. Some occur in large cities with involving thousands of people, and others involve an entire smaller community. Some exist in their own specialized community, such as a school or a church. It's important to remember the context as we begin to provide services. We also have learned that these events exist within a political atmosphere. And political atmosphere involves certainly the elected officials, the governor, the mayor, the elected sheriff, but it also involves interagency politics, the politics of the school district and the fire department and the first responders in the sheriff's office. These are important factors to remember as we begin to establish those trusting relationships and move forward to support the victims and responders. We also know it's very normal for a community who feels threatened and has been exposed to the kind of violence that these incidents bring, that it's easy to circle the wagons and to resist outside support. So as service providers, it makes it very difficult and challenging to break through into that circle of trust, to establish a trusting relationship so that you then can provide them with the support that they really deserve. Another lesson that we have learned is that we are really good at providing resiliency centers and notification centers as we did in the Aurora shooting and Columbine for those people who we classify as survivors and victims. But we also need to remember that responders, the first responders, are also impacted and need our support as well. For many responders in these small communities, they are personally impacted and involved with these tragedies. So let's not forget that as we support the victims and survivors of these tragedies, let's also remember that we need to support our first responders as well. And this website will provide you with lots of information and lessons learned.